Welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, Annie 150, and we're going to finish this all up um, and create high poly. This is part 10, and the high poly is basically you're going to do it this time. Um, again, giving you some artistic freedom, meaning that you know how to add edge loops, you know how to control your edges, at least you should know by now. And I'm going to do one because one of them we have to fix, but the other ones are good to go with edge loops. Okay? So, basically, what I'm going to do is let you guys go on this, and I'll do this asset here. This should be a short video, and you will do the rest of them and create the edge loops. And what I'm using is the original. And of course you can duplicate and do as many layers as you want, but I've got an original, I've got a low poly, and I've got a medium poly. Okay. If you want to create the edge loops from the medium poly, you'll have to make sure you keep your medium poly. You don't want to uh, smooth the uh, object until you get it in, uh, duplicate that file. I'm a, uh, the reason why I'm using the original, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Um, is that my uh, medium poly is, I'm going to turn that into high poly, and the original will be the medium poly. It doesn't matter how you want to do it. I'm not trying to confuse you guys, but, um, you know, I'll just stick with what my my plan is. Just go ahead and, and do uh, click on the medium poly, and let's go ahead and knock this thing out. All right, so... With this, I've got to change this, otherwise the edge loops will not follow that correctly. So all I have to do on this is um, just a couple things. I'm going to go to multi-cut, shift and right mouse button, click, and click on one of these edges here, and then one of these edges here. Just go straight across if you can. You can also hold the shift key. If you hold the shift key down, it gives you the, these increments. Okay. I find it best just to eyeball it yourself and hit enter. Okay. And there's no back, so you don't have to worry about that. And do the same thing over here. Okay. Again, I'm going to click on that line, that edge there, and this edge right here. Be careful. It wants to find, it's trying to find edges. So click on an edge, and oh, it's messing up. So I'm going to go um, hit the backspace. There we go. Zoom over this way. It's getting confused, seeing too many edges. There we go. And just hit uh, enter. There we go. And so what we're going to do now, hit the Q key, because you're still in this mode, the tool, the Q key. And just click on that edge, OK? And just hit delete. And click on this edge and hit delete. OK, so that's all we have to do. Um, I would highly recommend that you save your scene now, which I'm going to do since I made a, an adjustment with that. Okay. All right. That looks good. All right. So I'm going to isolate this guy. There we go. By itself. And I know this is easy, but you know all of them are easy. Um, it just takes time. So insert edge loop tool. Okay. So we want these edges to be pretty tight, meaning that the edges, edge loops just kind of like the gun that we did okay so we're gonna have inside edge loops and outside edge loops and you gotta kinda remember um, how to add edge loops so basically you wanna add outside and inside edge loops on each corner of your object okay don't leave anything unturned no stone unturned we're gonna get that back okay all right, so you can see where we're at with that. There we go. And we're going to look at this part right here. OK. Go up the side. We're going to make that pretty tight edge loop right there as well. There we go. And we have edge loops on the inside. OK. And outside. OK.
let's take a look here what's going on here with this okay then we got to do one over on this side too as well that'll go all the way down okay that's basically it and you have to check to make sure it's looking okay and make sure you have everything and to do that you have to hit the three key you guessed it alright so what are the issues that I'm having so if you see some issues with this object um, let's hit the one key again you can see that I don't have edge loops where I need them okay I got one up there and if I hit the three key you notice that that does okay it doesn't cave in on itself and it looks pretty good now when I go down farther you notice I didn't have one here so these are the things you're looking for again go into selection mode edge loop and really add pretty close edge loops right here to keep it nice and tight so when I hit the three key it keeps that nice and straight look at that okay so you can tell the difference and I'm going to do the same thing right here they're going to be pretty close together again if you make a mistake and you get a result that you're you're not expecting see if we get something that looks like that and that looks exactly what I want okay so and I'm just highlighting and just kind of reminding you what to do I'm not going to do all of them for you you guys can go on your own and do all this so I'm going to do that to all of these edges here. Go into selection mode, go into edge loop, and just add edge loops. And be consistent throughout the whole entire mesh. There we go. So now you've got something that looks more like it should. So I'm going to go back into object mode, hit the three key, and there it is. Look at that. Nice and nice edges there okay and if there's an edge you don't like okay you know how to fix it um, what you can do is double click on it let's say that edge isn't close enough so what I can do uh, hit the one key okay and uh, hold the shift key down right mouse button and go into slide edge tool and you can use your middle mouse button it even tells you what to do middle mouse button drag it so I'm gonna get a little closer that way double click on this one you can see how I can move these vertices or excuse me move these uh, edge loops very simple stuff okay so you're gonna do that to your all your objects okay I'm gonna do a couple more things here for you but that's it um, meaning that I'm, I'm letting you guys go um, and you always wanna check by hitting the three key Okay, that gives you that puts you in smooth preview mode. If you for, if you've forgotten smooth preview mode, right? All right. So, all right. Set the three key again. Go into selection mode, and you can see what you got. All right. So that's looking really really good. I'm very happy with that. Okay. So let's do a couple more. I said I would do one one set here. Okay. So I'm going to go back to object mode and then I'm going to go control one. Okay. You can see that I've got a lot of um, history here. So I'm going to go and delete the history. Okay. All right. So let's go to the bottom here. This guy right here. All right. It just takes time. It's not that inserting edge loops is hard. It's just time consuming. And, and if you forget something, you'll see it right away because it'll be really smooth and and it won't be like a hard edge you know It'll be, you, you see what it looks like it kind of turns into mush okay so back into object mode click on this guy and then do control one isolate that makes it just makes it easier for you to work okay I just noticed there's an issue with n-gons here believe it or not uh, didn't even think about it but we have to fix that so it's fairly easy to fix and you'll have to do that for all the floor ones okay so pay it very close attention to this uh, any pieces that look like this that we welted together earlier in the video will have to you'll have to do this okay so you have to take this time to do it so you'll do it to all of these this one this one this one 
So those are the ones that, that need special attention, all right? So there's some problem solving. Whenever you're modeling, there's always going to be problem solving. It's not going to be uh, a smooth sailing all the time. Let's do control one. And I caught it, so it's just it's something we can fix. It's fairly easy, okay? So just hold down the shift key and go into multi-cut. Uh, click on one of the edges here. Uh, this one particular edge. Let's go back, hit the backspace. And we need it to select, actually snap to this one here, okay? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to snap because we can get it to snap later. So what I want to do is I need it to go all the way through this object, okay? So we can snap these vertices to it or snap this to that vertice. Um, and that will that will help. Um, let me go back and this kind of let me show you kind of what's happening here. Um, this face, let's go ahead and make sure this face is okay and that one's okay you get this like this one little thing right here okay um, that's that's an issue um, it happens and it's a uh, I think it's a actual polygon okay and it's it happens when we extrude down okay right so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these okay um, normally I said I wouldn't do that, but I, we kind of have to for this to actually work. So I'm going to get rid of those and get rid of these guys here. Okay. All right. So, um, I don't think it'll be an issue after this. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of these pieces. In fact, I'm just going to select everything right there and delete it and do that for all the pieces and we shouldn't have any issues. It's when we extruded down is what caused the issue and the problem. Okay. So um, I'm going to go in here and that this actually fixes it. So I'm going to go into selection mode and we're going to go ahead and, and do um, what we set out to do is, is add edge loops, right? And uh, smooth this. All right. So again, this is fairly simple. Go in here and get them pretty close to the edge and you'll have to support all the edges here and everything's working just fine now uh, before it wouldn't have worked so you have to you have to remember to take the edge loops or the faces off again this is just t to me this is tedious work um, I'd almost rather be um, UV mapping than doing this um, but this is essential to get your stuff looking good. You need your high poly and your, and your low poly. As you guys found out that the high poly does do uh, make a lot of difference um, in how your maps turn out, like your curvature map and your normal maps. Uh, if you don't do this work, um, if you don't do it properly too, you want to keep everything uniform, right? I don't want to have this a uh, that edge like like looking like that and then have and then cut it like that that would look that that would just not it won't curve as as much it won't look as good so just remember that you need to make sure get that back where it was is to be consistent in how you're cut or how you're um, adding your edge loops okay all right so you get a consistent look let's go to the other side and I think the only thing we have to do to this side is to click on this right here. There we go. So um, let's go into object mode. Okay, hit the object uh, icon up there, and hit the three key, and you can see how that looks. I don't know what happened there. Okay, there we go. Hit the uh, Q key. I know what happened. I still I was still in my tool, and so when I go in here, you can see we got some great looking edges. Okay. I'm going to click on it and I hit the, the one key again. Again, if you make a mistake, you don't if you don't like where your edge loops are, just double click on them. Hold the shift key and right mouse button and go to slide edge tool and, and you can use your middle mouse button and get it closer. Okay? So I can slide that closer. And you can make those adjustments pretty pretty easily. Okay, click off 
hit the Q key again, go back into object mode, and give it a look. Okay, so let's go into selection mode, hit the three key, and take a look at it. Okay, all right, so that looks good. All right, and these ends are going to be hidden, hopefully, by other things. And then that way, we don't have to spend a lot of time trying to fix this part or uh, extrude that out again. So, basically, we'll just take the end caps off. All right, let's hit the one key, click on it, hit the one key. So this is your uh, basically your medium poly now. Let's go back to control one and let's take a look at your top piece. And again, the top piece is the same kind of thing that we want to isolate it. Hit the F key and then start adding edge loops. Pretty simple. And uh, if you run into issues, just problem solve it out. Um, figure out how you can fix it, maybe by moving vertices around or maybe changing something or rebuilding a part of it that's causing the problem. Um, it's it's just up to you and I would highly recommend that, I mean this part of it is what are you going to do when you get out of school? You know I tell students, hey listen I don't mind helping, of course this is what I'm here for, but there comes a time where you can't rely on the instructor at a certain point. Uh, I know you're still new and I totally get that and this class is all about learning uh, but you got to try but again don't try for so long you know give it give it an hour and that I would say that's enough um, and then you know obviously um, you know shoot me an email and let's take care of it and or I'll do my best to help you uh, figure it out, might even have you send the model to me, whatever. Um, whatever it takes to uh, get you past that point. And, um, but do your best. Take some time to try to problem solve it out. Most of you guys are really good at that. And some of you wait too long. Some of you try to problem solve, you know, hours and hours and hours on one thing. That's, that's crazy. Don't do that. Uh, that hurts you. You'll never get your stuff on in on time. Um, so shoot me an e email. And the funny thing is, is by the time I get back to you, most of you guys have figured it out. Which is, it's not funny. It's just how it goes. Um, so here's our edge loops, and uh, and you know those are pretty close together, but I think that's okay. And did we get the back here? Nope, we didn't. So let's get an edge loop back here too. There we go. All right, so you'll know it if you if you miss something. It'll look really soft. Okay, so let's go back into object mode. I hit the Q key a lot just because I hate get you know being in a in a tool. I can't get out of it. And let's go in here and let's take a look and see if we missed anything. Okay, so that looks fantastic. I mean that looks great, and that's what we want. Um, okay, cool. All right. I say so. The whole section is done. Control one, and we'll take a look at it now. And again, we're we're gonna have the high poly and low poly over top of each other, right? When we want to bake, so each piece will be baked by them. So you're gonna have a lot of pieces to bake. You're gonna have 16 pieces to bake. So be prepared for that. Let's go into object mode. There we go. Okay, so this piece is done, so we're going to do one last thing. We're going to select them all in object mode and hit the 3 key and make sure everything fits together really nicely. Make sure nothing, there's no really bad gaps, anything that's bad, anything that you see that we need to fix. Look at everything. Double check it. Okay, go to the top and underneath. That looks really great very happy looking for soft soft spots and that usually tells you that there's an edge loop that you've missed right okay the rest of this stuff I really uh, don't see any issues it's the same old thing alright same thing there might be more things you have to look for like you know like this but everything I think I modeled everything good enough and if I see anything later or if I see something, I will add a video while I do all this. But I'm not going to spend all that time. This could take hours 
um, in videos. Okay, you guys know enough to add edge loops. Okay, yourselves and problem solve it out. And uh, I don't think you'll have any issues. I think I had issues with this one, but if you take the caps, this is the problem area right here. So just select marquee select just that. Okay, don't marquee select anything else. And then just delete that. Ooh, don't want that one. And just delete that. That was the problem area. Okay. And you might have some issues with this too, right here in the in the back here. Okay. So you may want to get rid of those. But uh, this one was okay. I think this could be a problem, and it will be. So why don't you delete all the the bottom parts here, because we don't need them. Okay and it'll it'll solve a lot of your issues and problems that you have hopefully that you're watching this video because you're gonna have a real problem with that so I'm gonna just kinda select these okay click off go into face mode select just those parts hit delete and then you're just gonna have the top part here like that okay yeah and the problem is that when you uh, when you select an edge, and I think this was the issue that we had, select that edge and do a uh, control E. What we should have done was uh, move it down, right? Hit the W key and move it down. Let's turn that grid snap off, move it down. And you see that causes this and causes an end gone right away. And the end gone is what happens between here. Okay, so when we extrude down, it's extruding that vertex and this vertex at the same time, and that edge, and it's crossing over, and that's a problem. So let's take a look at this this vertex here and move it. Look at that. See, we've got two vertices occupying the same exact space that's a problem and and that that in itself is bad news okay now I can move them out of the way but do you want to do that on every single uh, you know every single piece there's a lot of stuff in here so with the floor we can actually get away with not having um, this even on there okay so again take it off you it's okay and let's go ahead and delete that just make sure you don't delete anything else on it and just go ahead and start adding edge loops then to this and it should work just perfectly okay now let's see if it will will have any issues with this one on this corner let's take a look at a little closer okay and let's just test this out real quick so go in here insert edge loop and boom did it work let's take a look I'm gonna add this real quick and do all this this work here uh, let's do the outside piece okay and the inside piece okay let's go on the inside of this and the inside of that let's do it on the other side too as well so it's going to be giving you a demo on this one here and see if that works and let's just focus on that piece and let's go ahead and get that edge loop in there and you can see that we need one edge loop over here and one edge loop and there's a huge amount of edge loops here yeah just for that one little area okay but let's take a look and see what it looks like you can see all those edge loops in there and hit the Q key and go into object mode hit the three key and see how it looks you can see all and if you make a mistake this is what happens right I didn't add all all the edge loops I need there but look at this that looks perfect that looks fantastic and that's gonna give you a really nice curvature map too as well okay again I'm not gonna sit here and do every single one of these but you guys get the idea if something is not edge looped properly okay so I didn't edge loop this one see you can tell it'll get really smooth on you so you need inside outside edge loops for every corner just remember that okay all right 
So inside outside edge loops for every corner. All right. Okay, so if you have an edge loop that doesn't go all the way across, that means that you have a break in your geometry, meaning that there's double vertices on top of each other or some other error. Okay. Again, if you get stuck, you know, email me right away. You know, try to problem solve it for, you know, a couple minutes or at least 10 or 15 minutes, try to problem solve it. Just look around, check your model, uh, make sure everything's looking okay. You can see that I'm just adding edge loops, and I've already got that one. You don't need to over overdo it with edge loops. Inside and out, that's it. And it looks like this one needs that inside one. There we go. And it'll you'll know if something isn't looking right because it'll be really soft. Okay, you'll be like, whoa, that's that's a really soft area. Because if I look, if I click on this and select it, hit the three key, you can tell where it starts falling apart, right? See, I, I just did that one too, and that looks really good. But then when I when you look at the stuff I haven't done, it looks like this, right? That's because the edge loops are not properly inlaid, right? They're not properly in there. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and hit the one key again. There we go. All right. So it takes a long time to do some of these in intricate pattern uh, panels, but it's well worth the time. Okay. All right. So hopefully you started the project early uh, in the week, and this is probably the most um, this is probably the longest time-consuming process. It's probably more so than than UV mapping. So yeah, I don't like it, but you know, it makes your stuff look really good having the high poly. Okay. All right. Uh, keep up the good work, guys. You guys can do this. You got it. You got this. And add the edge loops to everything. And um, when it comes to this uh, high poly stuff. Yeah, you can add, you know, somebody asked me, can you add too many edge loops? I go, well, not really. I mean, I can go in there and add a bunch of edge, edge loops in here, and the, and the, the, the uh, results are basically the same, right? So if I added a bunch of edge loops all the way across here, and you know, because I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing, right? Um, that was, was way overkill, but it's going to smooth the same exact way, and you can see that right there. It looks good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just you just you didn't need to add that many, right? So this is going to be really high resolution, or it's going to be you're going to have a lot more polygons than you need, but it's not it's not going to hurt anything. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. With that said, good luck with everything. I'm going to go back. I don't want all those edge loops in there. And so um, uh, just just go for it get all the edge loops in there you got uh, 16 items uh, take your time get them all done and then uh, once you get that done then you're gonna take it okay because this is gonna be your medium poly you'll take it let's say this one's done and go into object mode there we go you're gonna take it and you're gonna duplicate it control D and put it in a new layer called high poly Like that, okay. Just kind of give you a little example. Save it, and that turn that off. And turn the medium off. Let's go back to high poly, and there it is. And I'm gonna select it, okay. I'm gonna delete by type history, okay. Freeze transformations. I'm gonna select one at a time. I'm gonna go to mesh. I'm going to go to smooth. I'm going to go to 2 and click smooth. And I'm going to hit the G key because I've already got it set up. There we go. And so now we've got a high poly mesh. Okay, as you can see, it's all ready to go. And if you want to add more detail, which I'm not asking you to do, you know, if you want to add more detail to this, you sure can. There we go. So you can see that's the the high poly. So the idea is if you do want to go into Mudbox and add detail to this, what you'll have to do is you'll have to select it and delete by type history. You'll have to make sure that you're in the center grid. So 
So I'm going to go to show. And we're, we're not at this point yet. But you're going to take this piece and you're going to, whoops, you're going to go ahead and go into um, grid snap and get that placed. And this is how you would bring it in. Okay. Set zero, 00 in the corner. Okay. That's why we do that. And you can click on this one and go to zero zero on that one too as well, okay? Because this is how we do everything. And same thing with this one tier two, okay? Zero zero zero. Let's see if I can get that on there. There we go. And there you go. So that's those are your pieces, and you'll be um, saving these out, and you'll have to bring your low poly in here too as well because they'll snap in the same exact spot at zero zero and this is just part of gaming you're just gonna have to learn that this is really important okay alright so you'll you'll save everything out now obviously um, let's not do that until you get your screenshots right so get all your high poly done this is just I'm kinda get ahead of myself get your high poly done and all that stuff done and get your screenshot for me of what your high poly looks like right okay so you get your screenshots of where they are I'm gonna go control one whoops oh that's my high poly here go back to medium poly so once you get your high poly all completed everything moved over and smoothed and duplicated in your high poly and all those are high poly then I want you to do a screenshot obviously of all your high poly okay screenshot of your you know your low poly as well okay all right well good luck with the high poly and um, um, and basically um, if I feel like I run it I'm, when I'm doing this I run into any issues I'll I'll make a video and, and post it as soon as possible um, so you guys can you'll be able to see it so look for updates that happens a lot um, not all the time but you know quite a bit um, but but look for those uh, updates and they should be good to go alright you guys have a great day and we will see you in module 6